Hello everyone, welcome back to the YouTube channel Programming Knowledge. In today's Microsoft Excel VBA video, we are going to discuss about the list box control in the user forms in Microsoft Excel. Apart from this, we are also going to see that how can we retrieve data in the list box in the uh, from the Excel sheets and then how can we display the data in the um, Excel sheets as well that whatever selection we have done from a list box, how can we display it in an Excel sheet? So let's start with the video. First of all, bring up your VBA editor. So you can go to the developer tab and click on Visual Basic or the shortcut is Alt F11. When you do that, you would be having the VBA editor in front of you. Let's add a new form. So for that, go to the insert tab and click on user form to add a new form. And let's just rename it as FRM5. And let's just change its caption to list boxes. So uh, here, what we are going to do is actually add a list box. So first of all, let's understand that what is a list box? A list box, as the name suggests, is a box that consists of a list. There could be a list of anything like a list of um, things, a list of places, a list of months, a list of weeks and so on. And you can make a selection from that particular list. So if you go to the toolbox, on the second row's first column, you will see something uh, written as a list box that is evident from the tooltip as well. Here you can see the tooltip. So let's just drag one list box over here. This is our list box. You can just increase its uh, dimensions like this. So this is a list box right now. It's empty, but you can just add the data to it. OK, so whatever value you select from this list box, I want a command button to be there. That is as soon as you select a value and click on this command button. Then what would happen is uh, whatever the value you selected, I want that value to be displayed in the Excel sheet. So that's what uh, uh, I'm trying to do. Let's see what happens. So first of all, we want to add some data to our list box. Now this data is what we are going to retrieve from our Excel sheet only. So let's go back to our Excel over here and let's add a new sheet. This is a sheet eight. So if we go to VB, so sheet eight is here, but in reference, it is actually sheet nine. Okay. Uh, okay. So let's go back to our Excel here. Uh, what we want is um let us just add some data like january till december so let's just drag it up till 12. so we'll be getting all the months name january till december and i want this data only to be shown in my list box now if i just right click over here in this activate menu then um sheet 10 is the place where my current sheet is. The reason why we are getting this is because um, we want to uh, show the name of the sheet or the number of the sheet through the worksheets function. So let's see what happens. Let's go to VBA form 5 in the list box. Uh, make sure you are selected the list box. Then uh, you need to scroll down to this row source option. In this row source option, you can specify the place from where you want your data to occur. So the name of my sheet is sheet eight. First of all, you need to specify the name of your sheet, then put an exclamation mark. Then you need to specify the name of your cells. That is the starting point and the ending point. So my starting cell is nothing but a one. Then put a colon because we are going to specify the cells in the form of a range that is from a one till a 12. So a one colon a 12. So this is going to be our data. And as soon as we clicked on enter, you can see all this data is present over here. Let's just resize our list box as per our data over here and also our form. OK, now one interesting thing is right now we are having this kind of data that is um, January, February whole. If we go back to our Excel and just try to change this data to say Jan uh, in the short form of the months, and extend it till December. 
then what happens is you can see automatically this data converted into all these things which means that this data is being imported in a live format that is whatever changes you do in your data over there in your excel sheet it would be automatically updated in your list box okay so that is the uh, thing that you need to know now let's just code something on the command button let's just uh, change its name to say select okay so that's select and what we want is as soon as we select a value and we click on this command button then we want the value to be displayed in some cell of the sheet so i want the value to be displayed in b1 no matter what we select i want it always to be displayed in the cell b1 okay so let's just see what happens right now um if we just double click on select uh, then we get this event command button once click event now let's just go and then uh, we can add some coding part to it so what we are going to do is first of all check that whether the user has actually selected some value in the list box or not so a way to do that is a list index property if we just go back to our form and see this list box then we have get uh, got a list of values so all these values are recognized by a unique list index and if that list index is set to minus 1 which means that the user has not selected anything from the list box and the selection is empty so we are going to select or check for the list box property itself that if list box 1 dot list index is equals to minus 1 then in that case the user has not selected anything so we want in the cell b1 so we are using the range function to refer to the cell b1 i want its value to show that uh, the user has not selected anything so let's just uh, show a simple message no selection like this okay else uh, else part means the list index property or the list index value is not set to minus one which means the user has definitely selected something so in that case what i want is i want the range to uh, or the b1's value to show whatever the current value of the list box one is so for that purpose we have a property of list box one or a list box that is known as value the value property would show the uh, value of the current item that is selected then we can simply just end this if so what happens is our code is complete and let's just try to run it when we run it right now nothing is selected you can see and if i click on the select button then what happens is in the cell b1 i get no selection because i have not selected anything now if i just select some value say july and i click on select so i get july if i select on may i get may if i select on november i get november so this is how the thing works that is you are able to get the value whenever you are selecting that particular value and clicking on this command button there is a uh, this event of this command buttons click event on which we applied the code right now but what if we just deleted this command button and um, applied this event to or applied this code to an event of uh, our list box then uh, if we apply this event to list boxes click event then what would happen is if we just click on the list box then one or the other value must be have selected then only this click event would trigger and in that case we want simply this value to be displayed because we are sure that the user has clicked on the list box so the user have selected at least one value so let's just copy this single line of code and paste it over here let's just uh, remove all this code because it is not needed right now now with the right event selected that is with the list boxes click event our six lines of code has now been reduced to only a single line of code that is the advantage of selecting the right event so if we just try to run it then what happens is right now nothing is selected so the click event of the list box is not triggered but as soon as we click on the list box one value is selected that is may so may is shown over here september october june march and so on the values have been changing according to that that is the advantage of selecting the right event through the right event you are able to reduce your 
coding time or the lines of the code considerably and a good code is one that is clean and uh, is having the minimum lines of code while doing the work so that's how the list boxes work um, in this video we learned all about the list boxes that is how can we actually retrieve the data in a list box from an excel sheet how can we display the um, list box data into an excel sheet and um, everything that we know need to know about the list boxes so that is all for today's video and i hope you all have enjoyed it thanks for watching goodbye